Local police departments may soon be able to use radar to enforce speed limits. That is, if legislation moving in Harrisburg makes it to the governor's desk. Pennsylvania is the only state in the nation in which municipal police departments cannot use radar. WBRE, WYOU, Eyewitness News, I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us live in Kingston. Andy, why can't local police officers use radar? Well, Mark, that's the question we heard all day long today from many people all across the region as we worked on the story, so we went looking for answers. No doubt this is a familiar sight for many drivers. A radar gun sticking out of the window of a state police cruiser, marked or unmarked along the highway. The key words here, a state police cruiser. You will not see a radar gun in the hands of local police officers. But that may soon change. The Senate just passed legislation and sent it to the State House that will allow local officers to use radar. Now The I-team spent Friday with Butler Township Police Chief William Feister as he conducted speed enforcement on Route 309 near Hazleton. He, like other local officers, used devices such as VASCAR or a stopwatch to time vehicles between two stationary points, such as white lines on the highway, to measure speed. But Feister says radar is more accurate and allows officers to conduct speed enforcement much easier and much safer on roadways, especially those more isolated. We have been inundated with speeding complaints. And a lot of these complaints are in areas where we are not able to use VASCAR. It's not an effective tool in those areas. If we have radar, we will be able to dispatch officers to those areas to more adequately address the speeding complaints in those areas. Chief Feister says they often use these radar speed signs to warn drivers about their speed, but they can't use radar to enforce the speed limit. In the past five years in Butler Township, we've investigated almost 900 accidents. But we've also issued approximately 3,000 citations. It's not that we're not out there doing it. We just need this radar for an additional tool to protect our citizens. State lawmakers say the biggest roadblock to passing radar legislation has been... Folks have been concerned about whether this would be used as a revenue tool for local municipalities, uh, speed traps, if you will. Uh, that's not allowed under the bill. There's a cap on the revenue. Uh, this is about public safety. Other lawmakers blame it on political game playing in Harrisburg. Well, unfortunately, Pennsylvania sometimes is, is very slow on change, and this is one of those issues. Uh, the, the way that we do things, uh, people get stuck in a certain way. But drivers we spoke with say that has to change. Well, at this, this point in time, I think Pennsylvania's got to get on the wagon with the other states and go with radar to reduce the... Uh, the speeds, the speeds are, are, are unbelievable. Uh, people just don't care. Now, the state Senate overwhelmingly voted 49 to 1 to approve the legislation. It's now in the House Transportation Committee. Well, more debate is expected in the days ahead. Now, we did reach out to the governor's office and the Pennsylvania State Police. Spokespersons for both of those folks say they do support this legislation. Now, again, we do expect to hear more about this in the days and weeks ahead. We have it on our radar. We'll keep you up to date. Reporting live for the I team in Kingston, Andy Mahalshi, 2822, Eyewitness News. Mark, back we'll to you. We'll all be watching for sure, Andy. Thanks.